What's up, everybody? Welcome to the second to last FIFA 23 Squad Builder Show and Advent Calendar video. It's day 23. It is two days till Christmas, and we're doing today's video on 95 Pele. I just wanted to jump on before this video and thank you guys for all of your support this year, both on the videos and watching them and being so nice in the comments and on the Christmas jumpers as well, which have been awesome. For those of you guys who've already picked it up, a massive thank you from myself, a massive thank you from the charity as well. I'll be making a donation in all of our names to fan support and food banks this Christmas. So thank you so much for supporting me and for allowing me to then support the charity. You can still pick them up. Obviously, it won't arrive before Christmas, but if you want to get one, go down. AJFree.shop is in the description. Go down to the description or just type in AJFree.shop on any browser and it'll pop up. You can still grab this one in all of the sizes, the home jumper, but be quick because this one is already sold out in some of the sizes. So if you're looking to pick this one up, it might already be gone. If you're still dilly-dallying, get on it quickly because the sizes are selling out. So if your size is still there, go and grab one before it is gone as well. And again, thank you so much to all of you guys for supporting me and supporting the channel and the videos. Cheeky little thank you to Editor Marius as well for making all the videos for you guys. Get some love for Marius down in the comment section. What an absolute hero. And yeah, go check out the jumpers. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. The final day will be on Kerbs' channel. Tex, unfortunately, fortunately for me, was on a holiday. So I don't have to play against the pro FIFA player and definitely lose my Pele. We still might lose my Pele. So let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is two days until Christmas and EA have given me the greatest Christmas present of all because I packed 95 Pele. Yes, it actually happened. I'm on the red list for Christmas and it's amazing. If you want to go and see my reaction, to this happening, it was in the last Squad Builder Showdown, actually. So you can go watch that if for some reason you haven't watched it. Or if you want a quick catch-up, there is a shorts of it on my channel as well. If you want to quickly go and watch that shorts, watch me go mental, see how it happened, where I got it from, and then come back. I am Santa, I've got the hat on. We are joined by our resident elf. It is Mr. Kerbs. Hello, my friend. Um, I may have lost the, the, the outfit or it's getting washed before, you know, Tomorrow night. Yeah, got a big shift tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So we're just in like relaxing clothing today, you know, what we do. Okay, you're on your day off before the big day. Exactly, exactly. Since watching Half of Christmas, actually, Kerbs, I have got a genuine respect for elves, for Santa's elves. They put in an absolute shift on Christmas. In fact, I'm going to rogue one. Half of Christmas is up there with the best Christmas movies ever. No, I'm controversial. Have I have, yeah. They're, they're, I feel like there's so many good ones. Mate, the opening scene where it's like SAS elves is unreal. <laughs> there's, I, I suppose it's probably like a little bit different compared to other Christmas films, but there's so many of them, mate. It's, it's hard to, to have one that's like the best, right? I mean, the best is Home Alone 2, really, but All for Christmas is up there. I, I think, yeah, I think you're right that it's because it's different. Because yeah. the adverts that are coming on the telly for Christmas movies now just make me want to be sick in my mouth, to be honest with you. They're all rom-coms, aren't they? Yeah, and it's... Have you seen that one with Effie from Skins? I haven't, no. I haven't seen the film, but I've seen the advert, and it's like some guy on a train, and he goes, You're all invited to my Christmas party! And then it's just like... Oh, it just makes me really sick, to be honest with you. It gives you the ick, Andy. Is that, is that what yeah, it does? It gives like, you the ick. <laughs> love where you never thought you'd find it. It's so Christmassy. And it's like, oh, mate, I can't be dealing with this. Someone stick Home Alone on so I can watch him throw a brick at Marv's face. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and I, yeah, you, got, you can't be Home Alone. Like, absolutely yeah. a phenomenal film. I don't think, I genuinely don't think it will ever be topped either. It is unbelievable. I love it. I also love my Pele Kerbs. I played a game yesterday, and I we have got some interesting things to talk about today in Squabble the Shadow. Not that we don't always, but pertaining to icons, pertaining to FIFA, pertaining to the whole candy cap scripting, all of that rubbish. We'll come on to it. Ooh. But before we do, we have got what a man that was once considered the greatest footballer of all time. However, a certain man that we're doing on Kerbs' channel for the 24th, has just won the World Cup. He has. Little Leo Messi. Mm-hmm. But for all the dads out there, Pele is the GOAT. And Pele is the GOAT on this FIFA, to be honest with you, because I played the game with him last night, and it's absolutely ridiculous how good he is. He is a bit of a cheat code, isn't he? Stupid. And that is one of the things we're going to come on to talk about. But in order to not discard them, I mean, mine's untradeable, Kerbs. I'd quite like to keep them. Mm, yeah, mine's... It, it cost me an SPC, mate. It cost yeah. me an SPC. How much did yours cost you? 
3.4 million. Ooh. I don't, and I don't, I, that's, oh, this, that's a lot of coins, mate. Do you know how many FIFA points that is? I currently have the biggest discard of Advent. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. N not good, mate. Not good. I'll be honest with you. It's been an expensive year. And I would quite like to have you take that honor instead, to be honest with you, with this Pele. So let's get cracking and let's get let's guess your formation. I can't even speak. I even I've been sick for most of this week, so I haven't even been on like the Christmas beers or anything like that. I haven't had a little bit of what are you meant to put out for Santa? Is it oh, okay. a sherry or something like that? Oh yeah, a glass of sherry and then the usual stuff. What even, what even is Sherry? Does anyone even know what... The only people who know what Sherry is watched Pele live. <laughs> <laughs> and Dot Cotton from EastEnders. <laughs> but she did watch Cotton live. She's about 90 million, isn't she? She, she was, yeah, to be fair. She, she was she was a very old lady. I've never seen EastEnders, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm an avid watcher, mate. You, you genuinely watch I, EastEnders? I mate? actually do, yeah. I don't, I don't know why. I, I just... I always have, and I, I just do. You'd strike me as a man who does watch EastEnders, to be fair. Yeah. My mum watches Emmerdale, and so does my sister, and I'm just like, what are you doing? And like, you'll be on FaceTime to them, talking about something, they're like, oh, Emmerdale's about to start. And like, you guys honestly want to get a grip. Like, <laughs> if you're going to go and oh, watch why? the telly, at least watch something good. Yeah, like, like, at least I do this, like, it's probably, like one of the last things that I do in my day, right? So I hop into bed, <sighs> watch my episode of EastEnders, then we go to sleep. Happy days done, dusted, right? It's like saying... I'm off to bed to read, or like, I'm going to go get a bath and read. And yeah, okay, that sounds like quite a relaxing thing to do. And then you whip out, like, OK Magazine or something like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Watch something <laughs> good. Watch sports, at least. <laughs> anyway, Kevs, oh, okay. please tell me your formation. I'm getting angry at Christmas. <laughs> I'd like a 4-3-3, a three, three, please, mate. That's what I'd like, the flat one. OK, OK. <laughs> oh, it's getting heated. I'm getting flushed. He said this isn't that controversial. I mean, I'm going to have no, to bring so, in the comments so now, bad, though, but... Just in general. The acting in them, honestly, it's like them Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I am also actually going to go 4 3 3 Kebs in my little squad i got planned. Oh, mate. Pele's playing striker for me. I wrote down 4 3 3 fourth because that covers striker and this Pele can play cam. Oh, he can play cam as well. That is true. So I was like, oh. That's two formations, and I know you like a good 4-3-3. Three, three. I do like a good 4-3-3, three, three, which is why I've picked one. So, let's move in. Very simple to do this one, because we've got matching formations, and let's do the left wing and right wing. Right then, in we go, and don't panic, these aren't my players. I haven't, I'm not that stupid. I do still remember how to do Squabble the Show, and I think I'm meant to put them in first. And then I'm not meant to put Rafael Leal at centre mid. Because the reason these guys are here is because one of the little things I want you to want to talk about today, Kebs, is okay. you said it yourself in the intro. Pele is a cheat code. Okay. Do you actually genuinely believe that he is? That icons play better because they're icons? Certain ones do, yeah. I wouldn't say all of them, because there are a few that genuinely stink, but there's definitely a couple, like a handful of them that uh, that are absolutely ridiculous, right? So, like, Rude Hull is one of them. No matter what game we have, no matter what meta we have, he's always the best centre mid, borderline the best icon, borderline best player on the game every year. So, I would say yes. Do you think, because of it, like, Hullet is Hullet. He's got ridiculous stats. But he's, there's plenty of other players that throughout the year get stats that are as good as Hullet, especially during team of the season, which is why I've got these ones to oof. They're not, haven't quite got as good stats as Pele, but okay. when team of the season comes out, they will have, and they won't be as good as Pele. I think we can all agree that team of the season Salah has never been as good as Pele on any FIFA. I would agree, very much so. Yeah, Alejandro Gomez and his road to the knockout, or road to the final, or what, for, World Cup thing that I, that one. Wait, hang on, he's gonna get five star, five star, he's already got five star, five star, pissing hell. Yeah, this card, it's almost as good as Pele in the stats, and obviously chem styles and stuff, you can help him. He's not quite as good, but he's also nowhere near as good as Pele. Same for Rafael Leal. There's players that get stats the same as Hullet, but they're never as good as Hullet. Mm. Icing R9 apparently has the body type R9. And like Cristiano Ronaldo is always insane on FIFA because he has the Cristiano Ronaldo body type. Like he runs like Ronaldo does in-game. And is it like, are those body types worked on more, which then means they're more effective? But nobody cares about a Lipman and body type, you know? So he was terrible on FIFA. 
And the way that Sterling runs on this game as well. Mm. But I remember back in the day, Hadji was unbelievable. And you'd shoot and his stats aren't even that good. And you'd shoot from places where it shouldn't go in and it just does. Mm. Because he's Hadji and because he's an icon. I, I, it's, a, it's one of them things where we're never going to know the answer to it. It's a bit of a conspiracy. Like, look, Hadji's 85, 89, 88. Like, that's ridiculously good stats. But there's other cams with better stats than that. And Hadji will be better than them. Yeah. Do icons have secret powers? I don't know. Secret hidden things that we don't see. Because traits are obviously a thing. But is there, like, hidden traits within the game mm. that we Or can't... secret chemistry that boosts icons up past 100? Because obviously that exists. There's Mystery Ball, where you can have 150 shooting. So, 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 so maybe that actually is a thing then. And icons get 12 chemistry. Well, I guess you have three chemistry now, not 10. But they have four chemistry instead of three chemistry. So they play better. That then may be because icons feel better than other cards as well that you use in draft or whatever. That then may entice you to do icon packs. If you can't afford mm. to do the icon SPCs, you have to spend money on the game if you don't grind it, right? So it could be a whole circle. Or is it all placebo? It could be. We don't know. And when Pele scores a really good goal, you go, oh my God, this Pele's so good. Whereas if it's one of 20 other strikers that you've used previously, you're just like, carry on playing. Mm -hmm. There's a confirmation bias. I don't know. And then when he misses an open goal, it's like, oh, I've just spent three and a half million coins on this card and that could lead me to discarding <laughs> yeah, this Pele. Yeah, he, he was scoring for places he shouldn't have been scoring from for me yesterday. And I played a game where I literally just forced the ball to Pele. So that obviously is some of it as well. Mm. But interesting because the reason I ask about this as well we should also probably pick some players do you want to tell me your players and I'll carry on my conspiracy theory nonsense okay well seeing as Pele was as is seen as one of the the greatest as well mate on the left um I would like a man that's probably the best in the world right now scored a hat trick yesterday uh killing Mbappe Jesus Christ okay and on the right side, uh, this was the ironic part, mate, because I don't know if you've written it down or not. Um, I did this SBC when it first came out, and I just haven't been able to use him yet. So I'll have the young version of Lionel Messi, please, his flashback, if possible. Wow. Wow. Losing your honour at Christmas, Kerbs. Is that how it is, mate? Mm-hmm. Exactly what it is, my friend. That is disgusting, mate. It's not, it's not, it's not a bad, uh, not a bad front three, really, is it? Really? Is it? Aye, that's that is so unChristmassy. Because I wanted Messi as well, flashback Messi. Because I was going to go, I was trying to get a squad with Messi, Pele, and Maradona. But Maradona's not in FIFA anymore, so I abandoned that idea. And I was just going to go Messi, and I thought, hang on, Caves is doing his video on Messi. That'd be really mean to take away that niceness from him, that Christmassy spirit, that <laughs> gentleman's agreement of Squabble the Showdown. So yeah. I'm going to have Di Maria instead, is what I said to myself. And then you've gone and picked Messi. So I hope you discard Messi and your Pele. Oh, so I can keep my Mbappe though. That's still a million coins, so I'll take it. And your Messi, because I didn't write that, because that's against the gentlemanly conduct of Squabble the Showdown, Kebs, and you've just ruined it at Christmas. That's what we do, mate. Get back. And then, because of that, I thought to myself, well, I can't have the goat, so I'll have the goat of FIFA and I picked Lozano. The goat of FIFA Lozano. That might just be as bad as me watching EastEnders. Come on. You've had nightmares that inform Lozano back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah. Only only Ryan Kent can contend with him. Yeah, that, that, that is a fair point, to be fair. And if you, want, if you want to go even further back, probably either Dumbia, Ibarbo, players like that would have haunted previously. Yeah, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Kerbs is Christmas Scrooge and has picked Messi despite doing Messi on his channel. It's not an actual rule. You are allowed to do it, but screw Kerbs. Well, that's why I've got for the flashback, because, you know, we have the we have the young version and then we have the goat version on my channel. Mm. So, big brain if you ask me. And I've got Di Maria because this man's holding the World Cup in his dynamic image, Kerbs. It looks... It, uh, that, might, that, that might be, other than the Schweinsteiger one... Uh, where he's kissing the trophy. That dynamic image is absolutely just beautiful. Until Messi gets one on his team of the year, where he like walked past the trophy when it was on his plinth and kissed it. That one's gonna be insane. Imagine they don't use it. Don't say that. Just, 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 just Messi in a PSG kit rather than kissing the World Cup. Imagine that'd be outrageous. There's no, there's no way they can't give him uh, that dynamic image, right? That'd be horrendous, mate. You'd, no, that'd be worse than you picking Messi when you're doing squabble the shirt on Messi. <laughs> Just get a double dose of Messi, mate. I, don't... I really wanted them as well. And then I thought, no, I can't do that. We're doing it on Kev's channel. So I picked Dean Marie instead. Who, by the way, 
he didn't really play for Argentina, did he? Not really, no. And then he just rocked up in the final. It was like, yeah, go on, I'll play the final and win us the game. I just tore them apart mm. and then peaced out. Which is what we should have done as well, actually. We should have torn Kunde apart as well, but we didn't go that down that side, really. No. I mean, Foden had a bit of a stinker in that game, and it took Gareth 89 minutes to make a sub, and it was taking Saka off for Sterling. Yeah, it's just like... Uh, I like Southgate, but what? Uh, come on, mate. Like, please, just, just, just come on. Do you want to know the other arm of my conspiracy theory as well, by the way? I would love to, mate. Now, the reason I tell you this part is because... It's very easy to say, oh, it's a conspiracy. Like you said, oh, make the icons good, people buy packs, all that sort of stuff. Whereas most things are just easily explained by something that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I bought a new PlayStation, treated myself for Christmas, got myself a Christmas present for the living room so that I could play, play games without being a degenerate, basically, and sitting in my office all day by myself. So I could sit yeah. on the couch with Katie, with the dog, chill, play 45 minutes of a game, get a little bit of my fix of being a video game player and then peace out rather than sitting here playing Valorant until two o'clock in the morning. So that's what I did. And now I've been playing The Last of Us. I've been playing the PGA game. I've been playing loads of different stuff. But I did also install FIFA there so that I could do the SBCs when they were out rather than running upstairs or doing it on my phone. I'm in the living room, flick the PlayStation on, do the SBC, peace out. Easy. FIFA on that new PlayStation runs like it's had about 16 coffees. It is mental. I tweeted the video out of it, right? Did you see it? Did you see that video I tweeted? I didn't actually know. Okay, mate, the menus are so fast. It is crazy. So I'm sitting there thinking all these mad conspiracy theories, like do EA give all the server power to people who've just got the game because they want them to think it's good. And then once they've hooked you in, they just bin you off and put them on the stinky servers. There's so many conspiracy theories you could go through. That's... Well, that's so weird when you think about it. Mate, it, honest, I thought I was going crackers, and it... I did a, I was like, right, I'm going to do this SBC as fast as I can. I'm going to open these packs as fast as I can. I was doing the World Cup player picks, and you go like X, 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 and it like, picks get picked, and it's just like, what is going on? Whereas on here, if I do one, I'm like, pick, skip, and you're like pressing the button, and it loads the skip, and then you're like, it's proper sluggish and slow. Yeah. Turns out, there's a scientific explanation. My PS5 in my office is a day one PlayStation 5. My PS5 downstairs is the 1200 series, which is the third generation of PS5s that Sony have released. Th there's a third? Th th what? Yeah. I thought there was only a first and second. I didn't realise there was a third gen. Yeah. So there's... It's got a smaller, presumably better motherboard. It's got better cooling in it as well, apparently, so it can run faster. So you could then overclock it to make it faster as well. My one has been sat there for... How old's the PlayStation? Like two years. It's probably yeah, yeah. got crap loads of dust inside, and I need to open and clean it so it can run better without overheating. That's mental. Because when I first discovered it, I was like, "Ooh, this is bad." EA are designing games that only work on the latest PS5. That's really bad. But actually, mine's probably caked in dust. If I'm being honest with you, probably like the vast majority of everyone's. Yeah. So really, maybe I just need to clean the day one one, and it'll be super smooth again. Yeah. Or you just spend. Or just buy another time. PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just can't be bothered to clean the dust, mate. Just go and buy a new PS5. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of crazy, though, isn't it? That there's been yeah. already multiple gens of PlayStation without even a PS5 Pro. I knew there was a second one because they 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 struggled to get the chips um, for the old versions. So I knew there was a second one, but I didn't know there was a third gen already. That's that's mm. wild. And it's very, very, very fast. Like it's cr that, the, the difference is so noticeable. It's actually mental. Yeah, I, I, I can. Uh, now that you've said that as well, it it, it does it does just make sense because the the menus on the one that I've used here are so slow. But when this game came out, the menus were like that on this one, this day one one. So then, as EA have added more patches, have they added like extra bloat to the code, and it takes the PlayStation longer to read it? I don't know how coding works. That oh, that's, that leads onto another tangent of I wonder if there's a load of like temporary cache files that don't get deleted that get stored up. Because that's, that's why iPhones get so slow. What you're meant to do is, after like a year or two of using them, you're meant to back up your phone and then do a complete flesh, uh, a fresh factory reset of it. And then your phone will be a lot faster. Because then what that factory reset does is removes all of the temporary cache files, which clog your devices up and make them slow. Interesting. Another conspiracy theory, but that apparently... I, I've seen... A, I saw a video on it 
and that it's 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 true. So it's like interesting. I mean, know that RAM stores stuff even when you turn your computer off, mm. which is how it can load back up really quickly and stuff. I, I, again, I'm not super into computers. I'm not 100 percent sure how it works. That sounds somewhat plausible. I guess mm. it'd be pretty stupid of Apple to not code it in to just delete the cache anyway. You'd think so. But there's also RAM in consoles as well. So like how many temporary cache files that we don't know about from multiple different games or services from PlayStation in this instance that are just there. Every time you use a drive as well, it does lose some of its like the a solid state drive or RAM or whatever. It loses some of its efficiency. So technology does just degrade. And I've been using this PlayStation for thousands of hours. But yeah, I thought that was interesting because I was like, it kind of highlights how usually there's a logical answer and you might know what it is or have the information to be able to deduce that. But there usually is one. Like, if there's a funny light in the sky, it's probably not aliens, you know? Like, yeah. you might know what it is, but it's probably not aliens. It's one of them. So then again, like, Pele might seem better, but there might be a logical reason for it. This PlayStation is like, oh my God, EA are giving all the best, pl the new players better access to the servers. No, I've just got a more powerful PlayStation. It took me a while to work out what it was, but it's interesting. It's very it interesting. But yeah, I've, that may be... That was something I didn't know, that there's been multiple PS5s and that that one is significantly better than the one that I've got upstairs, which is kind of crackers. It explains all my losses on Squabble the Shred and Advent, by the way. My games felt so sluggish and it definitely isn't me being bad at this game. Who is the second player that you'd like alongside Lozano as well then, my friend? Di Maria. We've covered this, Kebs. Oh, very true. Wait, is this some sort of bait where you're going to be like, ha ha, I wrote Di Maria. No, I wrote down Vinicius Junior Rafinha, so... Um... I think I'm just going do Lally, mate. I, this, I've got such a busy day tomorrow night, you know, getting all the presents ready. Yeah, you got this. EastEnders to watch. you got presents <laughs> exactly, to deliver. Exactly, mate. I've got my one episode. I need my EastEnders <laughs> Christmas special before, uh, you know, getting into Slay and that. That was a big old tangent, but I do like a chit-chat. And I hope you guys found that reasonably interesting because I found it quite interesting. Maybe it was just mm -hmm. the journey I went on of being like, this PlayStation's really fast. Why is my PlayStation really fast? What's going on? Am I going mental? I'm not going <laughs> mental. It definitely is. And it's just a better PS5. Yeah. Should we move on, Kebs? I think we should, mate. Into the midfields we go then, Mr. Kebs. Okay. Enough chitty chatting about conspiracy fairies and stuff. For now, anyway. Right. I'm going to tell you who I want. Lovely, mate. It is going to be five star weak foot Brozovic. And. I really got enough for. And Barella. Yeah, he's, he's just normal Barella. Well, he's not. He's in form Barella, but he's three star, three star. I ain't really got anything for him. Is he? I thought yeah. Barella's three star, three star. Yeah, he's really good though. But he is three star, three star. Very, very interesting. And then finally, a man from the horse badge, Zielinski. That Napoli badge looks terrible, by the way. That the A designed. It does. I, I really hope we have the Napoli badge. Oh, mate, I'm actually so upset, though. I thought that was going to be a taunting triple. A tinselly triple. A tinselly triple. <laughs> you got none, though, didn't you? So that's, that's fine. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so... Mate, I actually got so excited. I was like, nah, this is, is this going to be like a advent or spust first of getting, guessing all three midfielders? Because you see that Brozovic and Barella. Shot up. Get him out, mate. Shut up! <laughs> no, my pelicans! <laughs> but do you want to know who my final pick was? And I, I just... Zambo and Gisa? No, I went for Enzo Fernandez. I thought you might have just got a, a try. That, is, that card looks stunning, right? I do do all the SBCs as well, to be fair. Exactly. Argentinian Di Maria. Enzo. Might make sense to try and put him in. Yeah, he's Holly Club. Exactly. But I guarantee you he's not as good as Holly. Doesn't have the height, the body type, the anything, mate. I think, I think, if anything, Enzo actually has better stats as well. Enzo's got better dribbling, defending, and physical. Holly's got better pace, shooting, and passing. But it's all very close. Hmm. Enzo mm. is 5'11. Well, Holly is like 6'3 six six or something like that. Yeah, 6'3. Yeah, yeah. Holly's got five star weak foot, high medium work rates. He's got four star weak foot, high, high work rates. So there's a bit of difference. But. Hollet will just be infinitely better than him. Just this Hollet in it. Yeah, li literally because it's Rude Hollet. Exactly that. 
Well, the good news is, my friend... It's not good news, Kerbs. Can you just piss off and watch EastEnders or something, mate? And we'll get someone else on to do Pele Swap with Shona. You're ruining my Christmas. Exactly, mate. First, we're, we've done the Atani. We've snaked it and gone for the flashback Messi, which you were never going to get it's because joke, it's mate, so, get off, so sneaky and snaky. It's lovely. Oh, hello, Santa. Are you ready to deliver the presents I guess, to all of these players? Shut up, Kerbs. Come on! And I'm going to give you two horrific centre mids. Um, I think, mate, because it's Advent, I'm just genuinely going to give you the two worst centre mids on the game. I'm going to give yeah, you Darji yeah. and Logue. No trump card? Interesting. No, not yet, mate. Someone's feeling confident. I am, mate. Today has gone well so far, so I have a feeling that this could continue. Would you like to know who I want? Not really, if I'm honest with you. I'd draft just in the video. <laughs> oh, you never know, mate. You might have one or two or all three of my midfielders on your whiteboard. So. A little tinselly triple. Yeah, you never know. Um, at right centre mid, let's see if, how well we can start. We jump into the Premier League uh, because I would like a man who has just also won the World Cup. We're going to go for McAllister. What a man. What mm. a player. Very, very nice card as well. Brighton. Geniuses, mate. They've got him a new contract before the World Cup. How much do you reckon they could get for him now? 30, 40, 50 mil? If someone big swooped in for him. Wedge. He was insane. How old is he? 23, 24. Yeah. Wow. He's literally born a week before me, mate. By the time this video comes out... Wait, oh no, is he 23? And then he's almost 24. He's born on Christmas Eve. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, that, that's right. I never trust footbin and footwiz and stuff like that with birthdays. They always get them wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's 23 and about to be 24 tomorrow. That just looked weird in my eyes. I don't know why. But yeah, no, he's about to be He's about to be 24. He's 23 until he's 24, though. True. He's closer to 24 than he is 23. When this video goes out, yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't know why that hurt my brain so much, if honest, but... Because it's a meme, Kerbs, and I'm taking the piss, mate. Well, uh, my head's not with it today, mate. I, it's, I'm How's your head not with it? And you've just dirty doubled me. Sorry. I don't know. What I is going on? I don't know, mate. Uh, left centre mid, funnily enough, mate, the man that I we were just... I you have the most bait one. I wanted a link to Lozano and I got Zielinski. I could have picked any random two Serie A players that saw a link together. And you picked both of them. Because of that, like, Rabio and someone else, CO. Funnily enough, I actually had Rabio on my board and rubbed him out for Enzo. Because, uh, funnily enough, mate, that's who I'd like at left centre mid as well, please. You want Enzo? I would. Okay. Ooh. And okay. central centre mid, I'm going to go for my absolute midfield maestro, Casemiro. What are you doing? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm building a lovely squad, mate. Look at that. Casemiro... Yeah. Enzo Fernandez and McAllister. Mr. McAllister! <laughs> hey, it's, it's Christmas, mate. I had to try and fit McAllister into this team, you know? Like, I have to. I love you. I'm going to give you to the count of three. Been the... smooching with everyone. <laughs> That's my favourite. <laughs> Cliff? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what a film, mate. What, what, what a film. Get out of here, you know it's a pervert before I slap you, silly! I'm sorry, sir. You must be mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> what a film. Unreal. Unfortunately for you, Kebs. Hang on, nah, what do you mean, unfortunately for me? You can have them all and you continue <gasps> to be Scrooge. Yes! Come on! What a midfield three that is, by the way. Two of the best midfielders in the world in Casemiro. That is outrageous. Casemiro is an absolute baller, mate. Did you not see his goal in the World Cup? Unreal. I'm just sad that Logue isn't called Ling. Is that my midfielder that have been Dodgy Ling? <laughs> when I did scroll the shadow of text, he had sing and song. <laughs> left back and left mid. <laughs> Smashing. That's just wonderful. That was a good one. I'll have to try and come up with some Christmassy ones when I inevitably guess maybe both your fullbacks, mate. No. No, 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 no. This. <laughs> I've come in. I've enjoyed myself. We've had a Christmas each. We've had a chit chat. It's two days till Christmas, Kevs. Oh, Pele's on the line. Oh, I didn't actually buy him. Oh, this is lovely. You've ruined them. You've ruined my Christmas cabs. Congratulations. I hope the discards make you very happy because you've got all the grace and decorum of a reverse and sleigh without any tyres on. So take your players and get out of my video. Right, 
Mr. Kerbs. The Santa hat is back on, mate, because I am guessing it. Both of your players. Okay. Who do you want? I would like... Well, as you're aware of, mate, all my midfield three are on one chemistry point, and so is Mbappe. Messi's chilling on two, so he's doing all right, but... Yeah. And you got, like, the Portuguese League, the Ligue 1, the Premier League. What are you doing? Exactly. So I'm, I'm giving you enough chances to try and guess my players, mate. Am I not? I mean, I am puzzled as to how you're going to get full chemistry, I'll be honest with you. But... Yeah. I'm hoping You'll... that makes it very obvious for the centre backs in goalie what you're going to have to do. And then I get to swoop in, tinsley triple you, and discard your pelly. We'll have to wait and see them, mate, won't we? My left back, I would like Inform Tagliafico. World Cup winner himself. Uh, right back, I apologise for this pick. I've, I've gone very Atani. Um, I'm going for Benfica's right back, Gilberto. And that's. Ties things up quite nicely going into my wow. centre and the goal. This is about to be a repeat of the World Cup final, mate. With Dembele and Kunde trying to mark my Di Maria. Yeah. Gilberto. Hmm. He's, he's a little hidden gem. If he would have played a bit better and had an inform, that would have been quite nice. But I don't think he was very guessable. So, yes. Okay, well. I wrote Zanetti. Ooh. And Martinez. Oh, of course. So you can have them both, Mr. Kerbs. Thank you very much. I was seeing, my, wondering if you're going to go for a Grimaldo, but then that made it super obvious that you had to go Sergio Ramos and... Okay, okay, fair, fair. All right, well, if you don't use Martinez, I'll use him. In he goes at left back. <laughs> don't laugh, Kerbs. Don't laugh, because if you've wrote him, you've probably written Diego Dallo as well. Oh, no. Is that your final picks, yeah? You, you going for Martinez and Dallo? Yes. Because it's quite interesting, Andy. Uh, I thought, oh, who's an Argentinian that has a really, really good right backer with them as well, that also play for the same club? Acuna? And whoever plays for Acuna's club. You really think I'm going to be writing down Jesus Navas? Yeah, that's the one. I thought it was. Didn't want to look stupid. You, you, you think I'm going to be writing that stinker down? It's Jesus, mate. It's Christmas tomorrow. Well, next day. Because I didn't write down Jesus Navas, Andy. Oh, Montiel. Montiel. I did. And Acuna. I did. I wrote down yeah, the perfect link of Acuna and go. Montiel. I thought the showdown and the World Cup, whatever purple card that is... Might have been too good to not put in, but... Dallo got a team of the tournament. He did. Who is he paying an EA for that? Nah, bro, Dallo was sick. Nah, come on, though. No. That, that team of the tournament thing, I tweeted out when I went through it. And it was like, Messi and Mbappe, yes, obviously. And the next one was Kane. I was like, what are you doing? Like, they're not even the best players from their own team. Like, the best <laughs> player for Portugal was Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. I feel like they, they had to choose some of the different players, though, because... There was, because Jude got a Phenom. Bruno got one of the Orange World Cup cards. Yeah, but I just, like, I'm not bothered. It's FIFA. It's team of the tournament. It's like, it should be the best players, not the best players that haven't just got a special card. It's just the best players. Just, just gift them one. Yeah. Like, look, let me, let me see if I can get it to come up. It takes about six years to load up. There we go. Mbappe, yes. Messi, yes. Kane, should have been Saka. Casemiro, should have been... Neymar, Richarlison, something like that. Casemiro did also play quite good. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll hold my tongue on that one. <laughs> Straw, keep your Casemiro, because he wasn't even in the picture that EA tweeted out. And I didn't even comment on him when I did my tweet. Foden! Yeah, that's a weird one. Saka? Give it to Harry Maguire before Phil Foden. Yeah, give, it to, give another card to Jude as well. Or Declan Rice, unsung hero. Hernandez, where's Griezmann? Yeah, true. Did get subbed off in the final, but was still basically their best player. Dallo, no, he wasn't the best player for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes was. Thiago Silva wasn't on the picture, whatever. Like I said, Neymar, Richardson, I know. Gakpo, fair enough. Perisic, fair enough. Dumfries, fair enough. Amrabat, he was in the mini-release, yeah, fair enough. Guardiol, sick. Gavi, uh, Rodri, maybe. McAllister, sure. Bunu, yes. Yes, yeah, Bunu. Guerrero, no. How, how has Leverkovic not got one? Just making it up at this point. Unbelievable. Where's Modric? True. Yeah, true. 
Do you reckon that's the next promo then? Now it's the end of the World Cup they're going to do. Team of the actual team of the tournament? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and then they'll still end up giving, I don't know, Kyle Walker a card or something like that. Yeah. Oh, dear. Or Jordan Pickford. Just getting angry at Christmas, Kevs. This is what's happening, mate. It doesn't feel like Christmas. I don't know if it's because of the World Cup. It feels like it's October. It does, doesn't it? I, I haven't really been in the Christmassy mood yet, mate. I can't lie. I know I'll be very Christmassy. Discarding your Pele. Let's guess your centre backs and goalie. Crunch time then, Kerbal. It is. There is actually, you've been very smart of this, there's a lot of ways or a lot of players you can pick to get your squad. I, I'm pretty sure there's only one way to do it. But there's a million options in each position, basically. So it's going to be very difficult for me to guess your players. However, before I do, I'm going to tell you who I want. Please do. I'm going... Hero Ricardo Carvalho. Fair enough. And then now, with Brozovic and Barella in, because, you know, chemistry and that. That gives everyone full chem. I can kind of pick what I want. I tried to see if there was a way to do, like, Marquinhos or something like that, but icons are terrible on this game for chemistry. Kelly just are. gives himself free chem, basically. He counts as an extra Brazilian, which is awful for chemistry. So, instead, what I'm going to do is go back to the Serie A, because it's not very often that you're able to get Path to Glory, Kim Min Jae, into a team and I'm have full chem. But in this team, I can. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to go for another man who had a standout performance at the World Cup, Chesney. Tried his best, wasn't to be, but he was insane. Very true. Yeah, that, that Poland team was unfortunately not very good, was it? No. And I've put two of them in my team. You have. At least Chesney was the good one, so that's fine. I completely forgot that you could have used another hero um, yeah, in this team. Yeah, the marquee player, mate. He is indeed. That's why I guessed Zanetti for you. Oh, yeah, that does make sense, actually. Oh, I'm, I'm just stupid, mate. I yeah, wrote you, down you for you. You might be stupid, mate. But I've got Dodgy and Logue at centre mid, so... That's very true, actually. I'm stupid, but I still managed to guess two of your players. <laughs> very nice. Uh, I wrote down for you uh, the showdown Agued, Kera, and Martinez. So... Yeah. Or you. Who would you like? I'm about to put the, the pieces of the puzzle back together, my friend. And, um... At left centre back, I, I think I, I think we we have been quite sneaky here because I've already used my outrageous position change in Kylian Mbappe. Yes. However, the default version of this card is a centre back, so I would also like Lissandro Martinez, please. You go normal Lissandro Martinez. Ah, uh, but it, but it's, uh, but it's phenom because it's a centre back. We've had a bit of a bit of well. I'm, I'm going to have to say, you're going to have to use the normal one, Kips, And I will explain okay. to you why. That's fine. I will use the normal. We've had, we've had this discussion a few times in Squabble the Showdown. And we actually, I cheated in one of the videos that went up the other day because I didn't even <gasps> realise that Player of the Month Rashford isn't a left wing by default. His base card is, and his better card is, but the middle one isn't. Wait, really? Yeah, so the, the Player of the Month's a striker, but the World Cup one's a left wing and his base card's a left wing. So I guess it's viable to guess Rashford for left wing because I could have been going for the better one. I don't know. I understand what you're saying as well, and I, thinking about it, perhaps it should be the rule that you can upgrade the better versions of cards. Which I thought was the thing. <laughs> what? That's what? Yeah, what we settled on wasn't. Right, okay. Which means I didn't write Martinez, because obviously I would have done. But I looked at it and was like, oh, he's used a special position change. I'm not going to write that. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, to... I say that. But, uh, no, carry on, carry on. I'm, I'm not going to give you any spoilers. But yeah... Okay. But, what do you think? Do you think that should be the rule? So the reason it came about is we were talking about it with James in to do with Quadrado. And I said, I want a Quadrado, but I want to play the moments one, which is a right mid at right back. Should that be a special position change because you get the benefit of the better card? Or is that you just you being clever? I, th I think that's being clever. Mm, it's an interesting. If it was if it was one of those like, if it's, if it's a position where his normal card can play, you're just getting a better version of it, then... I guess so. If it's one of the like really outrageous ones where their normal card doesn't play in that position already, so it wouldn't work, 
then I guess it's a bit naughty, but I, I would say it was being well. That's what I was trying to be. I was trying to be clever. Trying really, to be clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a um, contra It's there isn't a right answer. Is the honest thing to say to you. The only thing I would say is I was crying. Yeah, people who tried to do it previously would cry if you use better Martinez or I could use better Quadrado. <laughs> so unfortunately, Cabs. Fair enough, mate. You know what? I, I only need the... You can change your mind and pick someone else if you want, because you weren't aware of the rule. You are allowed to pick someone else instead. This is very true. Um, I, I just don't remember another way of getting this on chemistry, mate. So um, okay. that's why I've gone for this. Right centre-back, I would like to stay in the Prem, if possible. And we're going to go for Thiago Silva. And as you may be aware, I needed a French link. Mm. So... Originally... I wanted Hugo Lloris. However, I have come to the realization over the last sort of week or so that Informelier is an absolute cheat code on this game. I have no idea why. He's absolutely unbelievable. So we're going to go for Inform Ilan Melier. Fair enough. You can have them all. <gasps> Apart yeah. from Tiago Silva. Okay. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. So, Class. this is where it's a bit hard, though, because I didn't write down Martinez. And I also didn't write down Martinez because I just wrote all Brazilians. Fair enough. I, I did. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, to be fair. But I also did my guessing under the impression that you couldn't use that Martinez. And if you could have, uh... maybe I would have written Martinez, Emmy Martinez, and Romero instead of Edison, Thiago Silva, Gabriel. Yeah, because regardless, I needed an Argentinian. You needed a French player, a Brazilian player, and an Argentinian. I did. Ideally, all from the Prem. So I mm -hmm. honed in on Brazil because I thought, easy guesses. Yeah. Because the same way you could go, like, Emmy Martinez. Um, Varan Romero. Varan Romero. Also, oh, no, not Varan Romero. Varan Gabriel, also X. Gabriel or Diego Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there, were, there was quite a few ways of doing it. Um... But I thought Martinez would have been the sneaky way. But yeah. so you've got normal Martinez and oh no, the lowest rated goalie, slowest rated goalie, stinkiest goalie on this game, Kebs. Because oh, that's no. what you did to me. Gigi Bao. I'm actually going to give you oh Brinzea because he's got 17 speed. 17. Oh, that's one extra speed. I wonder, actually, hang on. Let me find out if there's any goalies with single figures speed. Surely not. There, there can't be. Oh, there, there's one with 15. Robson, who plays for Crawley Town. Brawl has got 15 as well. Is that the lowest one? Yeah, 15 pace. 15 is the lowest. So you can just stick with the game already got. Okay, well, what was his name again? But you can have Robson if you can't remember. I don't mind, Kevs. Just put a really slow goalie and make some Apelle can run past him. Oh, that's that's painful. See, uh, see, in my concept squad of uh, building this team beforehand, it looked a lot nicer with Thiago Silva and Martinez. In. I can imagine it did. <laughs> can imagine it did, mate. Oh dear, oh dear. I oh, I no, I need help now. You, you're thankfully you've got no midfield to actually feed Pele, but um, uh, <laughs> that goalkeeper at right centre back yeah. is, is slightly worrying. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that rule. Like, some people were replying saying that you should be able to just have any position changes that you want now because the people should know the game. But the point of that rule wasn't because people didn't know FIFA. It's because yeah. Squabble the Showdown is boring if you just have full teams all of the time and it's too hard to guess people's players. So as yeah. more special cards come in, I'm tempted to take that rule away completely, to be honest with you, rather than at least have more of them because now you know FIFA. It was to make it so that there was restricted options. Yeah. Like, if you went, oh, I'm not having Martinez, I'm having him at centre-back, and I'm having Fabinho next to him, who's actually a CDM, and a right wing, I'm going to have Gabriel Jesus, and it's just like, there's just too many things to guess. Yeah. Whereas, as the game's gone on, there's even more players. So, so progressively, it's hard. It's already difficult anyway, but it's like, mm. that, that just makes it almost impossible to guess anything, then, really. But I'm a big fan of Big Brain, and it is Big Brain, picking a, knowing a default player's position, and then using the goods on. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's get into a game. I've tried ever so hard not to be grumpy during this video, Kevs, but once you got my two midfielders, I was fully in the mud. However, I do, I do feel a bit better than seeing that Robson and Gilberto stood next to each other on that pitch. Feel yeah. a little bit happier. Feel a bit more Christmassy. 
I'm feeling it. I was very confident. Oh, you've and... got, I forgot you've got Mbappe. For Christ's sake, Kerbs, grow up. Robson? <gasps> no, give me Martinez. Oh, I've red timed it. What am I doing? Dusty nice. Dallow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, cheat code, mate. He's a... Oh. Oh. How have I not scored? Ow! You've... Oh, oh no. Robson's been absolutely... <laughs> oh, I've red timed it. What is wrong? <laughs> I've got to stop trying to time shots. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely from Messi. No. Oh, that bit of dribbling was absolutely phenomenal. Not like this 45th minute. Not like this 45th. No. Yes. No. He's actually Emmy Martinez saved oh, it. No. Oh, my God. How is this game nil nil? Get that. Oh, Go on, oh, Dodgy. No, this is very. Oh, come on, Pele. Come on, Pele. Oh, he's actually gone. Yes, oh Melier. Why well, did he take four more steps? because you're not on your fast PlayStation, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Need a better PS5. You do. And a better gaming chair. <laughs> and a new headset. Then I'd win. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'll my your PS5. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to be a compilation of red time shots, mate. Oh, for God's sake. All right, come on, Killian. Oh, Dallow. Great ball. Pele! Oh, that was the moment. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. No, Melier. Yes. Melier, no, you've been Oh, excellent. did you ever think you'd see Pele as a gritty? Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yes. No. No. Yes. <gasps> oh, the Pele hacks didn't work. That should have went in. Oh, Enzo! <laughs> How have I not scored? No! Oh, mate. That is actually all she wrote as well. Oh, my God, oh, no. My Pele is safe. Mine's not, and I've got Mbappe and Messi. <laughs> and Enzo. Ah, no. I love this game. Mate, I'm mixing this up, and I'm absolutely terrified right now. I'm just glad it's not me, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Mate, the thing is, not only do I have untradeable Enzo that I can't get back, Pele, flashback Messi, Mbappe. Right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to change it anymore. The suspense is killing me. Left centre mid. It's just Lissandro Martinez, mate. How do I still have the one and a half mil? <laughs> if you How had one do I more, still have the, I've got one day to get rid of the crown. If you if you had one more, where would you have gone? I couldn't decide between left centre mid or central centre mid. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> central centre mid was Robson. Oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. But gone. Goodbye.